And I also want to seize this opportunity to say a big thank you to our restoration forces, especially those within FACO who are doing an incredible job. What they put up the other day to stop that French terrorist from visiting our territory. And I would want to say particularly that I was very upset seeing that banner hung there in French, practically defying everything that we have mentioned or said against the French language in our territory. But again, I want to thank our boys who are putting up a real fight in Boya. We will take Boya. There is no other option. Boya will fall. Of course, the governor is already left, sleeping in Douala and coming over to Boya. Uh, they will all leave. Now, I also learned, we have also learned, take this very important, that Patrick Ekema, Patrick Ekema is forming his own army in Boya. We want him to rest assured that we are aware of every move of his own. They can run and hide. They will not hide every day. They say 99 days for the thief, one day, one day for the owner. Patrick Ekeman, you got the news. We are aware, this interim government is aware you are setting up a private militia in Boya and in other locations in FICO, we will answer you. And again, I really want to appreciate what our restoration forces are doing in Boya and FICO as a whole. That is the battleground, the final battleground for this revolution. We will get to Boya. And that governor's mansion will be vacant very, very soon. Very, very soon. Remember, I have not forgotten. We have not forgotten. We promised a hurricane. It is on the way. It is coming. And it's not going to take any longer. It is on the way. So please, our restoration forces, we appreciate you and we encourage you to keep on doing what you are doing. You are the best that God has given Ambazonia to defend our territory and defend our independence. So please keep on, keep up the good job. Again, if you find any white people fighting anywhere, even if they are not fighting, carrying guns and wearing uniforms, even if they are not wearing uniforms, please pass the news to me and try to get photographs or videos. We want to know which foreign forces that a public has brought into our territory to fight against us. So please send me evidence in my email box, c anu at ambazoniagov.org. Again, the email address is c anu at ambazoniagov.org. Thank you so much for joining the broadcast. I think we have hit uh, over 1,200 people in counting right now, and uh, I do not have any more reason to keep you waiting. But please continue to hit uh, the share button. Continue to hit the share button. And uh, let's get this uh, audience to get up to, up to uh, 2,000, if possible. We can do that. Again, the news I bring to you today has to do with the new uh, cabinet of the Federal Republic of Ambazonia. So uh, share the link as you join, share the link on your WhatsApp, Facebook, YouTube, and so on. Thank you for joining and good evening. Cabinet nominations. Mindful of the United Nations General Assembly Resolution 1608, Declaring the independence of the United Nations Trust Territory of British Southern Cameroon by joining the Republic of Cameroon, mindful of the absence since October 1st, 1901, 
the date of our independence of any act of union between the Republic of Cameroon and the United Nations Trust Territory, British Southern Cameroon, Zambezonia, as required by Resolution 1608. Mindful of the rejection of the de facto union between the Republic of Cameroon or La Republic du Cameroon and the British Southern Cameroon and Bazunia in 1972 by President Amadou Ahijo through the unconstitutional change of the provision of the form of state. Mindful of the official withdrawal of the Republic of Cameroon or La Republic du Cameroon from the failed union in 1984 through President Paul Bia by legislating a revert to the original name of his component of the failed union. Mindful of the proclamation of the restoration of our independence, the Federal Republic of Ambazonia, formerly British Southern Cameroon, on October 1st, 2017 by a constituent assembly of Ambazonians. Mindful of the establishment of our interim government of the Federal Republic of, 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 of the Southern of Ambazonia or Southern Cameroons on October 1st, 2017 by a constituent assembly of Ambazonians. Mindful of the establishment of the office of the president of the Federal Republic of Ambazonia or the Southern Cameroons at the Fort Conclave by a constituent assembly of civil society organizations at home and in the diaspora represented. Mindful of the 2018 interim constitution of the Federal Republic of Ambazonia. By the powers conferred on Dr. Samuel E. Komezako as acting president of the Federal Republic of Ambazonia, Southern Cameroons, on February 8, 2018, by the people's representatives of the interim government of the Federal Republic of Ambazonia or the Southern Cameroons. In the name of the people of the Federal Republic of Ambazonia, again the former British Southern Cameroons, I hereby make the following cabinet nominations effective today. Number one, Vice President of the Federal Republic of Ambazonia, Dr. Abongwa Harrison, Department of Home Affairs and Community Mobilization, Secretary of State, Ambrose A. Etenje, Judicial Council Chairman, Barista in the Fidelis, Department of Education and Strategic Collaboration, Secretary of State, Chem Leo, Under Secretary of State, Robert Fondi, Department of Economy and Finance, Secretary of State, H.U. Tabenya, under Secretary of State, Tazok Matias. Director of the Treasury, Richard Tangu. Department of the Homeland Security, Secretary of State, John Igiawan. The Department of Health and Social Services, Secretary of State, College Mbongo, Under Secretary of State, Dr. Santos Nicolas, 
for the Department of Foreign Affairs, Secretary of State, Dr. Elad Kizito, Under Secretary of State, Dr. Inge Toyang, Department of Communications, Secretary of State, Christopher Arno, Under Secretary of State, Emma Larry, Ethics Commission Chairman, Francis Shea, and Deputy Chairman, Dr. Abiodu Patience. Presidential Advisory Committee, Senior Advisors, Professor Carson Ayangwe, Senior Member, Advisor Law and Diplomacy, Chairman of Advisory Committee. I'm sorry, Deputy Chair is Ambassador Ambas, Ambassador Henry Fossum, Advisor, Diplomacy and Mediation. Ambassador Henry Fossum is an advisor for diplomacy and mediation. He's not in a deputy place. Then you have Achu George, Senior Advisor to the Administration. Justice Ebon Elowede, Senior Advisor, Political Outreach. Mola Njoli Tumbe, Senior Advisor, Political Outreach. Nancy Asanga, Senior Advisor, Mediation. Victor N. Mba, Senior Advisor on Spiritual Affairs. For the Presidency, Chief of Staff at the Presidency, Professor Martin Ayim, Ekomenzoge Metuge, I'm sorry for that pronunciation. <laughs> Uh, then Department of Statistics and State Archives, Director, Matt Atungo. Presidential Security, Director, Alan Kohila, Chief of Presidential Security, Deputy Training, Sheriff, Sheriff Asongwe. On the Judicial Affairs, Director, Barista Timothy Mbisa. Executive Assistant to the President, Sebastian Mbariku. Department of Resource Mobilization, Director, Irene Ngwa. Special Duties at the Presidency, Director, Tata Johnson. Communications at the Presidency, Press Secretary, Comfort, Comfort. Publications Director, Elizabeth Tuma. The Webmaster, Willie Munji. For diplomatic missions or heads of missions, head of mission or ambassador to the AU, African Union, Gordi Inti. Ambassador to the United Nations, Daniel Teko. Ambassador to the European Union, Yerema Dabne. Ecowas, Prince Akere Divine. For the Commonwealth, Luis Mbua Lee Kenye. Organization of American States, Eyembe Elango. For Asia Pacific Organization, Tangi Donatus Muma. For the Francophonie, Francis Awudu. The following positions at the presidency or the interim government for the moment have been temporarily abolished. These positions are Director, Deputy Director of Protocol and International Relations, suspended. Director of Finance at the presidency, Suspended. Director of Political Strategy and Outreach. Suspended. Director or Deputy Director of Cabinet Affairs. Suspended. Director of Administration. Director of Intergovernmental Affairs. National Security Advisor. Ambassadors to Countries. All these have been suspended and any other position in the previous cabinet 
are the precedents not mentioned here are all suspended. And we note also that all duly elected country regional coordinators and or their elected representatives on foreign affairs working group shall henceforth do the work of ambassadors in their respective countries or nations. All departments of state shall be powered by one, a chief of staff, two, a working group, and uh, three, a ten-man think tank, four, a chief of staff or executive assistants in case of directors, directors' positions. All diplomatic missions must constitute a five-man working group of diplomats or think tank to conduct the affairs of the mission effectively. This order shall be published on all public domains, including SCBC and all state official and international media. That was the announcement. And now I just want to uh, also add here that we have heard of rumors, some rumors flying all over the place about uh, changing the, I mean, removing Sisiko as president of the interim government. Please, nobody has taken that decision. That decision has not been discussed or that position has not been discussed by anybody. That position has not been debated by cabinet. It has not been discussed by anybody. I say this to bring an end to those allegations. Sisiko Julius Ayoktabe remains the president of this interim government. And uh, Dr. Samwe Ekome Sako remains the acting president. Nobody, no discussion to take over or to change who, the, who becomes the president of Ambazonia. Again, President uh, Sisiko Julius Ayoktabe remains our president and there has been no discussion about changing, making any changes to that position. Thank you very much for listening today. Good evening. God bless you. God bless Ambazonia. We will keep fighting. We will live free or fight until we see victory in the horizon. Thanks for tuning in. And before I go, I just want you to know I will be back here tomorrow on updates on the interrogations of our leaders in Yaoundé. I will be back here tomorrow, two, I mean 8 p.m. Amber time, to bring you updates on the interrogation of our leaders in Yaoundé. See you tomorrow.